Welcome to our weekly Bible Reader Companion Series. This week our reading is taken from Matthew chapter 3 through chapter 12, with our memory verse being taken from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. From the New King James, our memory verse reads, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let's consider the uh, passage found in uh, Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 through 30 today. Jesus compares uh, the generation of people earlier uh, in this chapter in a parable in which he points out that instead of accepting the message of John and Jesus, they actually just accuse them and actually place themselves in opposition to God's wisdom. He goes on upbraiding the cities where Jesus had done many mighty works and uses comparative judgment language to show the severity of judgment that awaits based on being compared against some very wicked cities. Uh, earlier in history and in that time. Let's pick up the reading now in uh, Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 through 30. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me, to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus provides a solution to the Jewish unbelief as he offers the great invitation that is the only way to find relief from the heavy guilt and burden of sin that he's discussing. He begins by offering a prayer of thanksgiving to the Father for not giving the gospel treasure to the arrogant, the, the prideful, the haughty, uh, who would have trampled it underfoot and used it to destroy rather than to deliver. He is thankful that it has been committed to the unsophisticated and humble who will faithfully carry out the work. Jesus offers the call to all. For those whose hearts are open, there is an invitation and there is a promise. When one is physically tired, he can sleep until the weariness is gone. But what can one do for spiritual weariness? That's the question. Those who are weary and heavy laden refer to the spiritual and emotional exhaustion that comes from sin and guilt which can be also exacerbated by man-made rules and tradition that guts the gospel of the grace of God. The wise and the prudent, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees, I believe he's mentioning here, here, peddled cures of comfort by their burdensome laws and traditions, but really only offered death. When we come to Christ, we enter into the rest provided by grace and not a soul-exhausting system of self-justifying legalism in which one tries to earn uh, their salvation. The yoke of Phariseeism involved the binding of heavy burdens, hard to bear, that they lay on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move with one of their fingers as Jesus abrades uh, the Pharisees later on in chapter three, uh, 23 and verse 4. One needs to learn of Christ as the master teacher, for it is in learning and living Christ that his yoke is, is born. The scribes and the Pharisees uh, bound burdens. Christ bore our burdens and carried them to the cross, providing redemption to all who will believe. The rest that Christ provides is not free of a yoke. The one put under the yoke is not idle, but one must consider the character of the one whom we are placed in submission and serve, the meek and humble and lowly Jesus. The, the rest Jesus offers is not a release from all obligations. The one who will follow Jesus must accept Christ's yoke of instruction, of guidance, and submission to his will. In doing so, uh, we know that whatever he demands of us is for our ultimate good and provides that hope of salvation. Considering our memory verse, let's remember to be an influence of light on the world so that others may seek the rest that can only be found in Christ in which will glorify the Father. Remember our memory verse, Matthew chapter five and verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Thank you and, and join us again next week as we continue to meditate on God's word together.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.